What's going on YouTube? Price crispy 94 here bringing you a another miniature painting video and that is right we have the May community voted miniature. So uh, the discord and YouTube polls showed a clear winner and that was our drow assassin. Now couldn't just pick the female version or the male version so decided to do both um, and they are both pretty much badasses in their own right. Um, also uh, I do apologize if my mic is a little quiet today. Uh, air conditioner is going, so I am currently still testing different settings to try and drown that out with still having my voice. So uh, let me know if it needs to go up or down, depending. Um, I think I got it pretty good, uh, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah. <laughs> enough of that let's talk about how we're going to paint these things up actually first let's go over these so these are some drow assassins from expedition underdark or expedition underworld one of those from loot studios um amazing sculpt as always from loot studios it's the female with her two daggers she's standing on like a little staircase mid stone with a skull right there uh she's got some sweet armor like her shoulder pads and then we have the male drow assassin uh unfortunately with the male he is supposed to have a very large sword in his hand but the blade broke and i could not reattach it so i snipped the handle and just kind of gave him a fist uh, i still think he looks pretty cool even without it so uh color scheme wise they're going to be both uh very similar same colors just because well, I mean, they're probably from the same clan, kind of like that. Um, so I have Army Painters Fierzris, Fierzris Purple, which is also known as unique to the Army Painter line. Uh, and this is going to act as our purple for the cloths. Pretty much anything cloth. Um, well, they're like skirt cloths because uh, they're like pants are going to just be done in matte black well as like the armor part of their arms you know and like that area uh then i have game color gunmetal which i'm going to mix with the fierce's purple to give us our purple armor for the shoulder pads the knee pads uh much of his upper chest armor as well as the knee pads and uh gauntlet part i i don't know what to say i don't believe they have gloves on though but yeah, uh, and then he's got like this cool diamond here. So I'm going to use my uh, red metallic. I don't have it out it's back there, but you'll see it when I'm painting with it. Um, uh, as for their skin tone, we'll be using Underdark Gray because that is my favorite skin tone for Drow. Uh, then I have Dungeon Stone for their bases. Uh, Holy White for their hair. Also check this thing out. I did this on all my speed paints. Um instead of just painting the cap like I had been doing. Uh, I did this because it was kind of fun to print it, prime it, and spray it on there. They're just these little, like, orc heads I got off Thingiverse, I believe. Um, so, yeah. And then I've got Skeleton Bone for the Skeleton Head. So, uh, pretty simple paint jobs, but I think they're going to really pop. Uh, I'm excited to do purples because I don't get to do a lot of purples. So, yeah. Uh, stick around, check it out, and let's get to paint.
and we are back the drought assassins are both complete uh <clears throat> not without small mishap if you guys didn't catch that i won. uh but i did prepare it and it looks all right um <laughs> but before i go ahead and show them off if you guys haven't already hit that thumbs up button and let me know you like the video and subscribe if you're not already because that's how you'll see more of these videos uh in the future so here is the mail drow assassin um which i do believe i broke the knife off before i even started filming uh and i had talked about the fact that i had already broke the sword in his other hand yeah i think they turned out really well um so for the the purple armor originally i was going to use the same color i used on their um cloth bits i guess but i did not like that mix so i grabbed purple worm out and that's how i got this purple it was uh two drops of purple worm one drop of vallejo gun metal and purple worm is uh unique to the dungeon and dragon set so i think this one was also unique so a lot of unique purples in the dungeons dragon set show it off real quick here um i think it turned out really well i thought about doing something different with the base but i don't know i like to keep it pretty simple when i do my bases um i did add some highlights to the back there just to kind of bring the purple back to that more vibrant color but i think it worked out really well um i tried to avoid directly putting the shadow wash over the ruby bit and i think that made that ruby bit pop just a little bit with more than like you know great uh ruby so and then holy white is probably my all-time favorite way of painting uh hair or like white hair now because i think that looks so good Let's the grays come through. Uh, and so what I did with the holy white was uh, I went with army painters brain matter beige and just painted all the hair and then finally added the holy white over it. So now let me move on to our female assassin who was unfortunately broken, but uh, I mean, you can't really tell her foot didn't quite go back on. So you can see right there her ankle is uh, off center but that one right there worked out well got the skull right there there she is again i really love that purple metal i was able to put on it uh, her blades for the blades i couldn't figure out how I wanted to do them, but I ended up just using dungeon stone for the handle color. I think it worked out pretty well. Um, then I did their boots different. So like her boots are just straight gunmetal with the uh, purple metal on the top and his I did all purple metal. Um, I did his did her start like this first and then I was like, I kind of want them to be a little different from each other. So that's why I did that. Especially since he's got the, the red ruby on his stomach and she's just more armored up. I thought about giving her a little more uh, of the metal bits, like silver. But I think I like how it turned out. Uh, I really don't know which one is my favorite. There's some more of the highlights there. Just to try and bring that... Um, what? I can't think of the word. The robes? The cloth? I don't, I don't actually know what those are called but just to bring them out a little bit more. So yeah, this is May's community voted miniature. Uh, if you guys want to participate in June's, join the Discord or just check the YouTube community tab because um, that's where I post polls as well. That's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. George, enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.